Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my big haul that I've collected throughout September and October and there is quite a lot here so I've done two videos. There'll be the art supply video and then there'll be a second video with my colouring books and PDFs because it would just make it way 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 too long. So let me just move some of this out of the way and then I will show you everything that I've got over the past couple of weeks. And yes, there is a surprise at supply in this set that I am so, so excited to show you all. And I'm so excited that I've, I've ended up getting them. <laughs> so first of all, I'm going to show you the Derwent Colour Soft. Now, someone asked me in my um, live stream a few weeks back, oh, Shell, have you ever tried uh, Colour Soft? And I was like, no, I don't, I don't even have Colour Soft. I've got Artist Pencils, I've got the Pro Colour, and I've got the Watercolour, but I don't have the Colour Soft. And then I did my Art Station video, and I'm going through all my supplies, and there sits my packet of Colour Soft. Now, I was like, I can't believe I've got Colour Soft. <laughs> and they still had the cellophane on the packet. Uh, so, obviously, I opened them and I have used them on one image. And can I tell you, I love these pencils and I most definitely will be getting a bigger set um, eventually. But they are very vibrant. I'll show you a colouring page that I've used with them. So, I coloured this recently and that it's all done and these colors you see here let's get all these babies out because you can see which ones i've used and which ones i've not there we go so the colors i've used on this page out of this set is deep cadmium acid yellow which is the really 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 bright yellow that you see on here then we've got lime green, light green, green, lichen green, which is like a dirty green, and black. So can you see all them? If I pull them up to camera, some have rolled. <laughs> but they're what I've used, and they are so, I mean, look at it. It just speaks for itself. So these are an absolute must-have. I need to swatch them out. Um, but the barrels are really, really good. Let me use a bright one, actually, then you can see. They're really wide. I mean, this is a Arteza. They're bigger than the Arteza pencil. So if you're used to using Arteza budget pencil, they're actually bigger. They're bigger, it's about an inch longer. And they're definitely wider. They're the same. They've got the closed end cap and the colour. But as you can see, traditionally with um pencils if i do that and then i put that at the side of it they're not the same so don't go off your colored tip at the end you will need to swatch these pencils out because they're not the same but the quality that comes with them now i've got the artist range this is the pro color set and this is the artist range open both these tins so your pro color are black i've got some out because i'm doing a project at the minute with them so this is this goes up in so you've got your artist you've got studio artist color soft pro color light fast so they're all the same I would say that the leads that you get in them, I think the artists are slightly wider when you look at them from a point. So this one, which is the artist ones. Um, but other than that, the wood's the same. So they all come with the same coloured ends. But the quality, I would say the artists are a bit more harder and drier. Then the colour softs are lovely and so soft they speak for themselves with the name and then you've got the pro color that are slightly harder not as hard as a polychromal but hard enough that they still blend really really well 
Um, let me show you something else. I tell you what, I'll show you a page that I've started. And you can have a see for yourself because I did this with the Pro Colour the other day. And I did. This is the artist set versus the Pro Colour. So let me just get that sheet out that I was colouring. find it here so let me get this out because we was doing this the other day i was talking to my friends let me just use this color chart because some information on here i don't want people to see <laughs> okay so this was done with the pro colors and then this was the same color in the artist so if i bring them up to camera there's hardly any difference so if you want to get the artist you can get the same achievements in color the depth of color is exactly the same um any you get color soft artist pro color if you're going to go from get the artist i would i would say that but then if you want color soft they are a bit more spushier like i found these more blendable than these but if you're doing detail work like this the artist set is amazing don't disregard the artist set is what i'm saying so and again if you compare that this is pro color this is color soft there's no difference in that vibrance it's it's amazing so that's my pencils that i've bought next up over there i got some pastel sets we'll go through these i saw these on murray and tonya's stream um she was using them for background and i was like oh what are them but they weren't available in the us even though they're from the us so i had a sneak peek on uh, amazon uk and they had a set that i could have sent to me from america even though they're not available in america go figure that one out but they are a fantastic little chalk pastels they come in this box they have a plastic cover just to press down and protect the pastel so they don't move around they come with this grabber tool little crocodile clip and you get three different balls you get a small a medium and a large and let's give you a little demo of them. Let's just get another piece of paper. Need some and papier. So let's get this pad out and I can show you how nice these are. So if I was doing, let's show you a blend. So let me put these back. Let's do a lovely blend. Let's get this big podgy one out and give it a raw, but I'll use this side because that side's been used. So let's start off with the orange and we're just lightly putting this on. So that's, this is just on normal paper as well. It's not on pastel paper. So then pop that back in its place. In fact, no, we'll turn it around because we need the other side. The only thing is you only get three balls per two pastels. So you need to keep in mind which side you're using for which pastel. So then here's the yellow one that's above it. And then you just turn it round like that. Keep turning it round and blend it in. see how nice they blend let's pop that out and let's get this one and then this is a slightly lighter yellow and we blend them two in and then the lightest yellow on that side OK, 
there. So they're absolutely lovely. You can do that blend with as many as you want. And then just brush away your excess, should I say. You get any on your white paper you don't want, just rub it off. But as I say, the, they are really, really nice. They only cost me £13 our money. I mean, you probably, if, if it was me, I'd have my own brushes and I would use different, I wouldn't use these little things. But for little detailed work, you can grab these little tiny balls, you know, and squidge it right up on the end of that grabber and you could get some really, so let me see, this is grey. So I've just got that on the very end of it. You can just do nice detailed little lines where you needed to or getting it into the little nuts and crannies of different areas so they are useful but I think you probably find yourself either using your finger with them which let's have a seat you know you can use your finger and make blends with different colours no this is probably not the best paper to try it on but still there's still quite a lot on my fingers there if I wanted to rub it out. But still, they're a handy little set to have in. And I just, when I saw them, I just had to have them. So they are pebbles, classic chalks in 30 bright shades. One second, it's popped out. There we go. Classic chalks in 30 bright shades. On the back, it just says classic chalks are soft, smooth, and easy to blend, which they are. Apply chalk with ease using the applicator tool and reusable pom poms. The convenient tin case with a secure cover keeps everything safely in place. Perfect for scrapbooking, rubber stamping, art projects, and more. And they're non toxic, which is good to know, and acid free. And then just some tips and techniques on if you want to use them for different things. So there was a good one. And then I got the Jane Davenport Shimmer Pastel because I thought I just I love anything sparkly or shimmery. So I got these. They were £11.50 from Hobbycraft. And I've walked past her stuff quite a few times. And in all honesty, I, I don't really get inspired by the stuff. I just think oh, it's all like made to look like makeup. And then I just think, how would I use them? So I've never actually bought them. The only thing I would say I'm disappointed with this set is there's no tool. So you don't get an applicator tool. So you would have to have your own um, if you want to go ahead and use these. So again, I'll be using my finger. So we get like a really lovely silver colour and it's quite opaque. Just give it a nice little rub out there. And there's still quite a lot on my finger. And then you get this light turquoise green colour. Again, very opaque, shimmer, shimmering. Still a lot left. And then we get this dark blue colour. Which is a nice like denim colour. So it'd be good if you get any jeans on any colouring. That would be good to use. And then the only two I'm disappointed in, and I will say disappointed, is the end two if you can see there's shine on them so I can't get them to work with my finger so I'm just gonna try a different approach which is a cotton bud and see if it's the oil of my finger that prevents it so that looks a lot better So that's going on there all right. It's very slidey, so I'm assuming it's the shimmer in it. But then I don't see much shimmer. And then there's this pink. So I wouldn't say I'm overly impressed with the last two. I find these very greasy and not like the other three. It's quite a hot pink. It's very clumpy. It's not spreading evenly as you can see there I've just kept the pressure the same and it's quite clumpy and you can't get rid of it so 
I'm not too happy with these two. Now, if anyone's got these and their set's the same or I've got a faulty set, will you please let me know in the comments in the description? But that is the Jane Davenport Shimmer Pastels. And I'll just bring that up to camera. So these three, you know, are quite impressive and they are quite shimmery if the camera's picking that shimmer up. They are quite shimmery. But for £11.50, mm, questionable. So they're another one that I wasn't that impressed with. Then I bought my blades for my bullet razor. So you've seen people have seen me rave about this m and um, sharpener. It's made in Germany. It's absolutely fantastic. But its blade has come to its final life now this pencil sharpener is about two pound to three pound depending on where you go and it cost me one pound fifty you can get new blades and i want to show this because people think oh you want to them's gone you have to throw them away and you you really don't you just get the replacements for them and you take your little screw out pop it in and voila you've got a brand new sharpener again um, and I just wanted to show you that because this sharpener is absolutely amazing. I love it. You get a gorgeous point. Um, once I change the blade, they, ha they are pristinely. I mean, I'll show you now. This is a blunt pencil. Let me find a blunt one. So that's quite blunt. It's got a blunt edge on. And this, I need a fresh blade in this because you can see it's breaking up the wood but look look at the point that sharpener gives you and that is a blunt that is a blunt blade and when it's got its new blade in they are a gorgeous point and it doesn't take that much off the pencil sharpener so put m and r brass bullet sharpener i will put the link in the description for all the products i'm showing you here um i'm just being careful they don't cut me <laughs> But they're the blades I got for them. And then next up, I got this dude from Ikea because I absolutely loved him. But in Ikea, I don't know if you've got Ikea's where you are, they've made displays out of them. Now, I want one of these for, um, obviously, when I'm doing my portrait work and drawings and profiling. So I've got this to get body shapes. But the funniest thing, the Adam out of these boxes, if I can get it out. And I thought it was absolutely fantastic what they were doing with them. I can't get it out of the box. But they took the stands off and they had them. So they had nails in the wall and obviously rope round the bodies. But they had them in little dresses. They'd made little paper craft dresses and tops and pants for the men and things short made out of paper craft and they had them in all different handles on the wall like some of them looked like they were flying some of them looked like they were dancing and i just thought you know what i'm going to get some more and i'm going to decorate my desk so when i actually do them i'm going to have them hanging from different areas in my desk and i'll show you a picture of them so i've brought him out to show you to tell you that story but anyone that does draw these are probably good for profiling anyway but um, I just wanted to add him in for that. Then next up, I got some mixed media and marker pads because, as a lot of you know, I'm not a big marker fan. And I've challenged myself to start using markers and try and master them because I watch Belinda, I watch Sammy, Emily's diving into them, and I think, do you know what? They can't be... They can't be something that i can't master i have to have a go at it and i when i first started coloring years and years and years ago and i did uh adult coloring books back then i used to do them with sharpies so i can do them it's just i didn't blend with them i just used to do block color with them so i got this script premium artist mixed media pad so this can be for markers it can be for paint uh, acrylics, pencils, oils, anything water soluble and wet and dry techniques can be used with this paper. So I've got some watercolours 
and I want to try them out. And then I got this Merc pad. Now there's only 25 sheets in here, so I'll be doing. I'm going to swatch the things I've bought in this. So it's special. So just whack my camera. It's a Montmartre Merc pad, and it's a heavyweight backing card, acid free. 25 sheets of 100 GSM. So I'm going to swatch out all these markers that I've bought. Now, firstly, I found these. There's not much information. You can tell I've been to TK Maxx. <laughs> and I found these in there. And these are the brush marker, pen seal marker. Now, there's no other information about them. There's no email address. There's no, they're from the Netherlands. And they are brush marker pens. They're actually really, really good. So they're very much like the Arteza brush pens. So if I pull that out, the tiny little fibres. And they're absolutely gorgeous little markers. So they, there was a red. So I'm going to keep my eye out for some more. Yellow, if you can see that. Just pull the camera down a little bit here so you can see. See? Some more brush fibres. So just individual brush fibres exactly like the Arteza brush pens. So if I can find any information, if there's a website or anything, I will let you know. But I just thought for two quid... With a £2? Two pound, two pound forty-nine. They're not bad. I'm going to check if they blend in a minute. So this is a pink. And then a purple. I'm going to check if they're water soluble as well. So let me see if I can get them to blend into the pink. And they're actually blendable. Look at that. Let's blend that again with the pink. Very, very blendable. How <laughs> good is that? So let me just try it with the um, dark blue. Well, it's not dark blue, it's light. And then the light blue. Again, oh, I really like these. And then let's try this one. There you go, blending. Absolutely gorgeous. that off I don't want to put it back with the screen in so let me try to see if they are mixable they're water soluble because like I said there's no um Yep, and you can mix them. Make them into a watercolour. Just make it a bit runnier. So if you see these out in the stores, definitely go and buy them. <laughs> so that are these art artists brush marker pencil marker pens. And then it just tells you the same thing in all different countries. So there we go. So I'll try and find some more information about them. But they are a little gem for £2.50. Six nice little colours there. For amazing for plants or flowers you want to colour. And bring that up. Look how vibrant it is. It's beautiful. And that's the watercolour. So they are water soluble as well. 
and just remove these out of the way and then next up Uh, these little beauties what I found the double ended Stedler brush lettering pencils I have been delving into a bit of graffiti writing so I have been trying these out and I absolutely love them but you can do tip to tip blending so on these you get all your primary colours you get like a brush nib on that side So sorry about that and then on this side you get a little hard detailed nib and they're so smudgy and wet and lovely this is your orange one beautiful so you get all your primary colors your red orange yellow green blue purple blue violet turquoise green orange and black so if i get the blue and the green let's say you hold the two ends together one two three it's not worked on that side let me just check this one <laughs> So there's the blue going into the green maybe I didn't hold it on long enough one second need to do the darker blue picking up the green out of that one see there's blue there we go and then starts going darker let's do the yellow and the red oops one two three long enough on there for me one two three four five so let's do a bit longer that one's gone on to this one there you go let's start going red so they remind me of the chameleon markers it's quite a lot in that <laughs> so the red should start coming through now there you go. Why wasn't it? I wanted to get the red on the yellow. Let's get the red on the yellow. It's not going in. Wonder why that is. Because the red's not coming out on that at all, but the red's going into the yellow. See? So for blends and stuff like that, you can get what I'm meaning. Um, let's do the purple and the light blue. Oh, that's gone straight on. See? Eventually, it's going to come out blue. <laughs> Eventually down the line. But this, how good would this be for background? So that's completely near enough blue. There we go. How good would that be for a background though? How much, how quick you'd cover that up? So that, uh, they come with this writing on Stedler brush. Oops, and I put the wrong lids on the wrong pen. And the lids are really good because they're not an odd shape. They just go back on really well. 
So that is the Stedler brush lettering pens. Double-ended lettering pens. So I thought they'd be fun to play with. And I think they were £7 from Asda. So there was a good buy. Then I decided to get the Illustrator brush pen markers. <clears throat> I'm going to do a proper swatching of these. But again, they are really good markers. They're this hexagon shape. It's a six-sided. They've got on Illustrator Spectrum Noir and then the name and the number on the bottom of the pen. The brush nib is a decent size one. And as you can see, there's a lot of flexibility in that nib. So if you wanted to do a nice flowers. Or frog's feet or whatever. Not very good flowers there, but there we go. Looks like something else, actually. <laughs> that was not intended. But anyway, so you get your brush, pen, and you get your fine-sided brush. And you get six in each set. So in this set is tones, so you get... Smoky Blue, Old China, Wisteria, Dusty Purple, Pink Lace and Vintage Pink. In the Essential set, you get Ice Grey, Ice Grey 6, Muted Brown, Mocha, True Black and a Blender that you can use for all the sets. Then there's a Hues. And this one has Cocktail Pink, Amber, Gold, Pearl Green, Caribbean and Amethyst. And then the portrait set, you get dusty pink, cream, peach, ivory, natural brown and dark brown. There's one thing I will say about this set, you definitely have to swatch. Because, if I put that down there, that's the lid. They're not, they're not that far off, but they're not quite the colours that's on the lid. And they are quite blendable. I put um, a video on my channel in Spooktober where I used these. So let's just put that in. And then we mix it with this one. And you just keep working your edge. I'm still learning with these yet. coming through mm, it's starting to come through but as you can see you would see how blendable they are they're really really nice so i need to work on some skin tones with them um for definite and this one is that's too pink you know Let's see what ivory would do The ivory is really, really light. The other thing with that set is there's kind of not, if you look there, there's not really an in-between. It's got this peach, but again, the peach is too. There you go. If you blend the peach in with it, it'll be a bit better. But I think I'm going to learn to use them on this marker paper. Um, so these, the really juicy, as you can see, they're really wet. Don't think they compare to Corpix. I don't think anything compares to Corpix, but they're not a bad bag. And I only paid seven ninety nine for six of them four sets. I'm not too sure whether what the other sets are, but I'll put a link in the description if you want to try these. But they're really 
to me they're decent the only thing the only bugbear is the fact the shape of them and getting them back in the tubs like this um, and obviously because they're that shape they can only go on that one way if you try and put them on any other way it they won't go on so that's them ones Then I got the Spectrum Noir classic colours because I just wanted to see the difference. And the set are just the same, the same hexagonal pattern with the name and the number on. Only you've got your bullet end. And these are your chisel tips that do different size drawings and then inside this set these are the colorist set you get a little creative information on how to use it and some little pages to practice on and in here it just gives you some little insights in how to use the pens and then some warm tones and colors and what these colors you can make so many different colours with so that's pretty good I didn't realise I'd knocked my camera right out of shot when I hit it with that pad <laughs> but this little beauty what you get in here and I need to see if I can get these individually uh, lining by Spectrum Noir they are so lovely and why is it not working I left it out Don't leave it with the lid on. Well, for some reason it isn't working. It was the other day, so I don't know what's happened there. That's weird. Mm. Well, hopefully yours works in your set if you get one. But these are not these were eight pounds for the same set and you get six in there and you get coronation aniseed denim honeydew and ice gray five and i use one of these as well so i blended the two brush and the um classic color markers together in one of my videos on spooktober i used them as a base for the cat fur so they're a good buy and then lastly in the markers i got these hobbycraft skin tone ones because i wanted to have a go them they were really cheap they were something like three quid um with these i think they're kind of like a copic rip off in the way they are shaped and everything so the only thing is you don't get a number you don't get a color there's no colors on the box so you would have to label them and mark them whatever cut if you're used to what colors with markers you could probably closely find something that they coloured in now the brush tips are really juicy in them they're really good they're nowhere near anything like the colour of the lid and then you get a chisel tip on the other side so this is the darkest one so let's check blendability and then next down from that would be this one. So, hmm. Blending is questionable. Some are a bit drier than others. Oh. It is blending. It's not the easiest to work. And then have we got a lighter one? This one. This shows it as a light gray and then whoa that is just not that color at all <laughs> can you see that that's not even fair off that color at the top so they are blendable they're just not easily blendable and that is definitely not the same color but it works for the blend i've got going on here but that is pink and that's come out more like that should have been 
the colour before. So they are very budget. You'd have to label them up. They've just got Hobbycraft on. Brush and chisel. So it's nice to have a chisel rather than a brush. But you get in the skin set, you get these colours that do not match the top of the lids. So you would definitely, definitely have to swatch them out. Because you would make massive boo-boos if you went off the colours on the lids with that. So, there you have it. That's all my markers in my haul. And then lastly, I got this. Now, let me see if I can pull this up as far as I can go. Now, this was gifted to me from Opal Berry. I was asked to do a review on it, which you'll find on my channel. If you go to my playlist, you should find this on colour. I think I put it under the coloured pages. If not, it could just be under my videos. Now, this is a really good paint by numbers. Good quality, good paints, great brushes. Whether you would use the brushes or not, um, or whether you'd use your own, everyone's got personal preference when it comes to brushes. I'll just open it. It comes with this high gloss box, which is really, really good. You get your paints in your tubs. You are all numbered. The tubs are amazing quality. The lids are really tight. I mean, they're a workout to get off. So that's good. You want that to happen. You get a free gift from Opal Berry, which is just a ruler and a magnifying glass. And then you get your three different type brushes. There's more in-depth review on my channel. This is what I did in two hours. So it is very detailed work and by far will be amazing when it's finished but as you can see the quality of the canvas is amazing the wood frames amazing it's all stapled it's very firm i mean i leaned on this and everything to get over that side to paint them it's really really good um the paint quality is good there is some paints that i will have to go over again if i pull it up closely you might be able to see some of them numbers but this I will spend time on but it will take a long time but they do say that they'll take on the back it'll take six uh, weeks to months to complete um, and when you view it from a distance that's when you'll see but even from here and I, I can see them individual petals from just the bit that I'd done so if you want to know more about this product on Opal Berry check out my video paint by numbers video on it where I've done it live stream but that was gifted and reviewed for the company. And the com if you want to get the paint by numbers, they're selling them now on Amazon US. Just put in Amazon US Opal Berry paint by numbers and they'll come up. And they are doing, you can see this here, six different designs. So this is the one I've got. Then there's a Christmas one, a boat, a jar of flowers, and then a scenery one, and then like a little village one. Uh, little country cottage should I say um so yeah 15 to 30 hours over several days but I would say it would probably take you unless you're an avid painter avid painter should I say um it may take you six, 15 to 30 hours but for me it would take months because I would just do little bits because I get frustrated because it's so small and you will need a magnifying glass for some of the parts but that is only reviewed off the one that I did down here I'm not sure what the others are like um, so, that was my Opal Berry. Now, for the my surprise, most exciting purchase that I have saved and saved and saved for is... Ta-da! Woo-hoo! The 20 set of portrait loomies i cannot believe i own them they're like <laughs> i love 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 them um i've been waiting to get these i've saved and saved and saved and i managed to buy them 20 of the portraits i know i've got a lot to buy i have got a lot to buy and I was just in awe. I couldn't wait to open them. So I'm assuming these are all the sets. 
So all together then, there is a hundred, I think I'm correct in saying, isn't there, with the new colours that are out. I was hoping that the B are colour chart, but there's not. So yes, I got these. Um, and I spoke to Sammy about them, colour chart with Sammy. And she was saying that the portrait set is a good set to start off with. And then I said to Sammy, what other pencils would you get that are a must-have from the other sets that would go with this set? And she so kindly sent me a list. So I got another nine single stock ones. So I've got all what's in the portrait set. Um, and then I got... Um, buff titanium um, brown ochre 10% burnt ochre 10% move that out of the way and then burnt sienna 10% burnt ochre 50% <laughs> I love them. Brown ochre. I'm assuming that's just brown ochre. I can't see anything else. And then burnt sienna 50%. And then sandrine russet. And then burnt ochre. Have I not just said that once? Burnt ochre. Brown ochre. Burnt Orca 50%, Burnt Sienna, Burnt Orca 10%, no, I missed it. Burnt Orca, Brown Orca, Buff Titanium. So the only one I missed off what the list that Sammy gave me was white uh, because they didn't have any in stock. Um, so I'll get that on my next one. But these are just beautiful and I cannot wait to do a swatch. I'm not going to swatch any out on here. I just wanted to show everyone that Shell Arta is now the proud owner of 29 Luminance pencils. <laughs> I am so, so excited. I cannot wait to dive in. I said to Sammy, I'm going to jump on uh, YouTube when I use them and I'm going to find something in Sammy's channel where she's done skin with them and I'm going to go wild and, and have a go. But I'm in absolute awe that I've managed to get them. So I'm waiting for a, a sharpener to come that I know other people use um, and it's the Tagal one so I'm going to probably use that one because you can keep that short but with a point so it won't use too much of the pencils because I'm scared if I use my swordfish which is this it takes about an inch off a pencil so I don't think I'll be using that on these but yes I have these so I need to find something to put my additional loomers in which I think I put them in. Uh, where's it gone? I'll put them in my. It's a bit bad putting a Derwent pouch and putting um. What's its names in? So it's got five of my Holbein in. So I'll put these in here, and then at least they're safe. I don't want them rolling around anywhere where they can get damaged. But yes, so now I can join in colour alongs. The only thing I need now is the full set of Prisma colours. And then I think, and then I'll, need, I'll get the light fast. They'll go on my Christmas list. So at least I've got light fast. Because light fast are good to have, aren't they, as well? So, but I had the money and I had to decide between the two. And that's what I went for. So that is my little surprise. And thank you for watching with me today. Um, and I'm sure you'll see me use these in a swatching video very, very, very soon. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in on the art supply video. Don't forget the collection of books and pdf is on a separate video this time so just look out for that one popping on virtually after this one so thank you very much everyone for tuning in i hope you enjoyed the art supplies that i got and what i can get a link for i will put in the description for everything that i had today okay thank you and i'll see you on the next one